TPM stands for Trusted Platform Module, and a TPM chip is a built-in security feature that goes beyond regular security software. It is designed to enhance protection and can also help keep your Dell computer running well. Which Dell models have TPM? Quite a few systems have TPM technology installed on their motherboard. Latitudes, E-Series, Optiplex, Precision Mobiles, XPS and Alienware, Distro and Venue. Check out the description to see the complete list of model details. What do I need to run the TPM? TPM 2.0 requires the BIOS to be set to UEFI and not the legacy, and Windows must be 64-bit. What can I do if I have issues running the TPM? Go into the Device Manager and look under Security Devices to see if the TPM is present or not. If it is present, then press the Windows key and the R key. This will open the Command Prompt window, then type tpm.msc and click OK. In the TPM Management Console, check for the status to be ready for use. If the TPM is not shown in the Device Manager, or the status is not ready in the TPM Management Console, do the following. Reboot the computer and press the F2 key at the Dell logo screen to enter System Setup. Click on Security in the Settings menu, then click on the TPM 1.2 Security or the TPM 2.0 Security option in the Security menu. If the TPM section is missing from the BIOS, check your Dell order because your PC might have been ordered with TPM disabled. Next, make sure both the TPM on and activate are checked. Additionally, ensure that attestation enable and key storage enable are also checked, for this is the proper TPM functionality. Now go back and look in the device manager to see if the TPM is there. If it isn't, then you will need to clear the TPM and update to the latest TPM firmware. Press the Windows key and then type PowerShell in the search box. Right click PowerShell and select Run as Admin. Next, type the following PowerShell command. Disable hyphen TPM auto provisioning and hit enter. Confirm the result of the auto provisioning as disabled. Now press the Windows key and the R key again and enter the command tpm.msc again. This time on the right side actions pane, select clear TPM. Reboot your computer, then press F12, and when prompted, proceed with clearing the TPM. Once you've done all that, go to dell.com support, enter the service tag or use Detect PC, and select drivers and downloads. Choose the correct operating system, and then select the security category from the available driver menu. Look for the Dell TPM 2.0 firmware update utility, or the Dell TPM 1.2 update utility in the menu. If the TPM is still not visible in the device manager, or the status in the TPM management console is still not being shown as ready, then contact Dell Tech Support and explain the situation so they can help you with what course of action to take next. However, if you get the message in the management console that the TPM is ready for use with reduced functionality, this means that the system has been re-imaged without clearing the TPM. Therefore, you will need to follow the steps to clear and update the firmware as demonstrated earlier in this video. In addition, you should also go back and check the BIOS to see if the TPM settings are correct. At this point, if the issue persists, do these three things. Clear the TPM, reload Windows, Verify in the management console that the TPM is on and ready for use. If you are still having issues and would like additional help or have any questions, contact our tech support on social media through Facebook or Twitter. Be sure to check out our other tutorials on this channel and if you like this video, give it a like and become a subscriber today. Thanks for watching.